back. Today we are on the mission. Paul, the guy with the huge cod, is turning 30 tomorrow. And he has invited 40 guys for a proper fish feast. And he don't have fish. When a friend asks you for that kind of help, you show up. And despite some nasty weather on the drive and some pretty threatening clouds on the horizon, by the time we got in our suits, the sun was shining. To maximize our chances, we went to the same area where Paul got his huge cod, and the visibility was still pushing well over 10 meters. It didn't take long before we found some fish. It turned out that the problem wasn't to find the fish, it was to hit them. I was starting to get pretty worried about the next day, when I suddenly see lots of shapes below me. I miss so bad that YouTube is better off without it. The current was ripping, so I saved the location on my watch to be able to go back later. But the school of cod were gone. After a small eternity, it was finally time to put the fish on the float line. And just like that, the day is saved and I finally got some peace of mind. And no matter how bad your aim is one day, certain types of catch doesn't require a spear gun. Not this, but it's something. <laughs> a bit of karma goes a long way. Minutes later, I saw a new cod in the shallows. Somehow it managed to tear off, but I kept my eyes on it and were quick to reload my gun. The fish tears off, it's always a 
good feeling to find it, and especially so fast. I met up with Paul for a quick chat. Luckily he had a bit more catch than I did, including a couple of these troll crabs which are absolutely delicious to eat. We decided to check around the next corner before heading back home, and that was a good decision. I hadn't seen a school of bait fish like that since the summer, and there had to be something big beneath. After some scouting from the surface, I go for a dive. Throughout the day, I had consistently misjudged the distance to the fish and shot too low. So of course, with this beautiful big fish, I had to overcompensate. <laughs> on that dive, I also tested out a 7mm mitten on one of my hands to see if there were any temperature difference compared to my 5mm gloves. Silly me chose my right hand not even thinking for a second that it would really affect my grip. So it's definitely not as much fish as it could be, but I got one small cod here and oh, one quite big, which is nice. Also got a bunch of rope, too bad you can't eat that. And Paul, on the other hand, Show us what you got. So today on the menu we have one lovely <laughs> fucker, one lovely cod. I'm guessing six kilos. So I think this guy is maybe one and a half. Yeah, I'd say that oh, one is uh, two at least. I think that one is two. Two kilos. It's six huge. Kilos. Yeah, at and least. Then, uh, two kilo, two kilo ish. Yeah. Bad. Paul's cod ended up at 11 kilos. And with two cods from the rest of the guys, we had enough fish to feed the masses the best fish meal I've ever had. Thanks to Freevensleeve for sponsoring this channel with some gear and to you for watching. See you next time.